My parents immigrated here in 1993 um, and my mom figured one of the first things that she needed to have um, to live a better life here was to learn English and also to become a citizen. Um, so one of the first things she did was to find a citizenship class and that's where she found it here at Castle. So my parents put me in the Castle programming mainly because um, they wanted to work. So they didn't really have anyone to take care of me so they needed to find a space where they felt that um, I would still learn Chinese culture um, and the Chinese language was very important to my mom that I kept that and so that's how they found Castle and put me in the programming tier. So I attended the preschool program I think from 1997 to 1999 um, and then after I graduated preschool here I attended um, the Saturday programming here um, had special classes back then. There was um, cultural dancing and art, which I both participated in. It was all age groups and all genders, so it, it was a very interesting experience to learn more about my culture and um, where I came from. And then after, um, my mom learned about the after school program, um, so she put me in the school age after school program from I want to say 2002 to 2006. My best memories are some of the friendships that I made um, throughout the years here. Um, going back through my photo albums, I actually found a friend that I currently am still very close with and we still hang out. We went to, we were in the same preschool class together. Um, and then we also attended the school age class together and we also went to the same high school so it was very fascinating like always having these group of people um, even though we didn't go to the same school and just always having them um, around to be my friend and things like that and just growing up together. The funny thing about why I came to Castle to work was um, I was still in school. I was still um, I was still in college, and my mom said she was walking down Chinatown one day, and she bumped into the coordinator of um, school age, who, who in turn became the director of the programs, um, and she she remembered my mom and she remembered me because I was here for so many years in Castle. Um, it's just so she was just wondering how I was doing um, and things like that and my mom's like oh yeah she's about to graduate soon um, she's looking for a job she really likes working with children Prob um, she's gonna go do her master's in early childhood education um, and then the director told her that there was a position open and if she was interested to send me an email um, so she gave, she gave my mom her business card and so I sent her an email and here I am. When I came here and I saw the face of one of the teachers, I remember her face but I didn't remember like where I've seen that face before. Um, and then I found out later going through my photo albums that she was actually one of the preschool teachers that raised me when I was in the program. And I hear that uh, good news, and then the first thing I feel, oh my god, I'm old, I'm getting old, <laughs> because my student can, can come to work with me, and then also I feel very happy, and because my student can work with me, we work together, and, um, and become my leader, my, my coordinator. So I'm um, how my job I can help my student to become successful. She's a fair leader and she's easy to communicate. I think the biggest thing that Castle has helped me is um, really appreciating the Chinese culture. Um, I know there were a lot of friends of mine um, growing up that whenever I spoke Chinese, they would look at me funny. Um, like, why, why are you speaking that? Like, it's not English, you should be speaking English, kind of. And even, even other friends that are Chinese, like them not, um, 
not being able to speak Chinese now as we're older they, they really regret it and I'm really grateful that I kept that growing up and attending castle was really the one way that really helped me to keep that language.